starter calls the field to the gate. And we'd like to give a shout out to two more of our friends from California, Mike Casagrande and Phil Walker. So we know we have a sizable contingent out on the West Coast. Thank you all very much for joining us across the continent and beyond. We even have had people tuning in from Europe at one time. At this time, we'd also like to remind you that if you have a winning horse today, you can purchase your Winner's Circle photos from Todd Gimblet. All the information is inside the program next to the page for race eight. Second event on the evening has Missy Rocks and Gypsy Merlot on the inside, Stargazing Cruiser and Majestic Virgin on the outside. Four mares off and pacing. No surprise to see Majestic Virgin and Samuel Fignon going straight to the lead. Missy Rocks pockets up right in behind the heavy favorite. It's a length and a half to Gypsy Merlot and a length and a quarter to Stargazing Cruiser. The quartet have just six lengths front to back as Majestic Virgin is setting what appears to be an ambitious pace ahead of Missy Rocks. Then Gypsy Merlot and Stargazing Cruiser, and it's a fast quarter indeed, 27 and 1. Majestic Virgin takes them in front of the stands, a length and a half in front of Missy Rocks, who rides the pocket. Similar margin to Gypsy Merlot and Stargazing Cruiser is on the Gassian helmet in fourth. They head up towards the half. Majestic Virgin has them stacked up in a line behind her, leading it by a length and a quarter from Missy Rocks, Gypsy Merlot, and Stargazing Cruiser. It's Majestic Virgin looking to deliver on the promise. 57 and 4 was the half time. 29 and 3 second quarter. Majestic Virgin got a breather and is now looking to take them up the back stretch. And if she goes all the way, it will be an early daily double with two odds on favorites. Majestic Virgin trying to deliver on the back half of that double, a length and a half in front of Missy Rocks. Stargazing Cruiser with a mild bit on the outside, but still has three lengths to make up, joining Gypsy Merlot at the end through three quarters in one twenty-six and three. Twenty-eight and four for the third quarter. And now the real racing begins as Missy Rocks is looking to take a shot from having ridden the pocket the whole way. They're in the final eighth, and home they come. Majestic Virgin opens up two. Missy Rocks made a bid but couldn't keep up. Gypsy Merlot looking for a share. But no surprise, it's Majestic Virgin all the way. Majestic Virgin, a length and a half better than Missy Rocks, then Gypsy Merlot and Stargazing Cruiser in 155 and 3. <laughs> 